So a couple of big lines going to match up here tonight as the puck comes up to center, taken away by Pearson. Here's Tanner Pearson, right side. He shoots him a save and a rebound up the middle but sent wide. So the rebound came off of Ryan Mill. 45 seconds ago in the King power play. Long shot right at quick and a save made and the rebound to Muzzin. Moves it off on the right side. King's coming on a three on two across the blue line. Pass on the left side. Here is Brown. Cuts off uh, along the boards, gives it back to Muzzin. Muzzin shoots and it's tipped up off of the goaltender and off the glass and out of play. Move it up the right wing side. Carter ahead now and pass in front of Pearson that hopped over his stick. Picked up there by Muzzin. Back to the blue line. Dowdy turns, shoots, save, rebound in front and knocked down again along the board. Next in the King zone. They get it off to the right side. Held in there by Lyndon Bay, formerly with the Kings. Bay into the slot. Now pass in deep. Left side shot sliding across. It's knocked down by Quick and then cleared by Green. Thrown down in by former King Brad Richardson. Put it behind the net to Higgins. Now his pass taken away by Brown, but again he can't clear. King several times have come right to the blue line and been unable to clear. There's a shot and a save and a rebound. Knocked down again. The word we get, Jim, is that things have really settled down in Vancouver and everybody, there's a pass up the middle a shot, knocked down, rebound, score! Gabrick! Marion Gabrick got the goal to put the Kings ahead. One to nothing and Gabrick gets his first of the year. Well, you get bodies to the net, and the puck will go. It's kind of a chicken and egg theory. You put the puck there first, then the bodies, or the bodies go, you get the puck. It doesn't matter here. Look at the Kings fight for a faceoff that wasn't necessarily won cleanly. Gabrick makes it happen. It goes from low to high, and very quickly back down to low. Three on two. Here's a pass on the right wing side. The Foley gets a shot, and it's wide. The Foley coming down the left side. Back to the blue line. Muzzin scores! Muzzin from just inside the blue line. And the Kings have a 2 to nothing lead, and it's Muzzin's first goal of the season. You had a look there at first-year head coach Willie Desjardins. But he certainly didn't like what was going on. The counterattack by the Kings. No stopping the puck. Move it. Get it going. This one is missed right there, but the pass was right on the stick. Then, like we saw earlier with Jake Muzzin, forget the big slap shot. Go with the wrist shot. Go with the quickness. The release. That's the issue right now. Head up. Release. Quick. A couple of sticks waving. And Lewis spinning to get control. Lewis with it. Back to the right side. Nice play by Dowdy to hold it in. He shoots, and it's just deflected wide into the corner. And the Kings try to hold it in again. And it is picked up by Verbata. Verbata's pass to the King line. Now across the line, tipped away there. And Lewis on the right wing. Lewis with Clifford. Clifford down the left side. Lewis shoots off the arm of Ryan. Now Williams going for it. He kicks it out to the right point. But it's both passed Dowdy out to center. And the Kings get back to get it on the left side. Here's Kopitar. Kopitar shoots. He scores! From the left wing side, he gets his third of the year, and the Kings have a 3 nothing lead. There's that urgency. There's the speed. The Canucks wanted interference against Dowdy. Again, Justin Williams here away from the puck goes to that. Look at that. He gets inside position. Now the shot by Kopitar, if you're a goaltender, you say you have to have it. But watch this. Man, that's under the bar. That's over the shoulder. It's perfect. Nino's a good goal scorer. Gets it over now to Higgins. He shoots. And it deflects out the left side and up in the air, but not out of the zone. Now the Kings have it. Back they come to center ice again. Back across the line. Left side shot by Lewis and a save by Miller. Dowdy in the Kings zone. Second period just underway. The Kings with a 3-0 lead. And the puck brought up to center ice now. Here's Gabrick. He's got some jump tonight. He shoots and a save by Miller. Oh, tonight he spins away from a check, turns, and his shot knocked down by Higgins and cleared the center for the Canucks. The forwards, the defensemen, all five guys changed on that play. The Kings kept control of the puck. Carter to Pearson with a shot and a save made. Check thrown there by Brad Richardson on Williams. Kings have it again, though, and a pass ahead to Kopitar. Over to Williams. Williams, he shoots. Save and a rebound just out of the reach of Gabrick. What a regroup by the Kings. Passes right on the stick. Pisa. 
He was in that Kessler deal with the Anaheim Ducks coming over to Vancouver. Puck is picked up by the Kings, but they don't clear. Comes into Daniel Sedin. Daniel Sedin's got Verbot in front of it. Daniel Sedin shoots and a save by Quick. And Daniel just holding on, waiting for Verbata to go, and then, much like the Kings goal with Gabryk, and it was Williams driving, it was Verbata this time, and he just bought time for his line mate on the play. And now both teams make some changes. The jockeying goes back and forth. There's 22 watches. Martinez can't go to him right away. When he does, Verbata backs off. Another drive through right there. Now tipped away, and it is to the blue line to Martinez. He shoots in front, score! Martinez got the shot to Foley with a rebound, and it's 4-0 Kings. The footwork of Alec Martinez. We saw it on the road trip to get a shot, which he scored on in Carolina. Watch how quickly he takes the puck off the boards here. It's going to come along the boards after the pass by Carter. Or actually, the Canucks get it there. Outside, inside, keep your feet moving and get it through. Then the rebound. Toffoli actually touches the puck here. Watch it as it comes in. Toffoli will get a piece of this, and that will allow him to recover the puck. When he recovers, he finds an empty net. Kings lead, four to nothing. Toffoli with it. That's the same guy that made a great play on the goal. The great footwork, and then he gets out there, and he falls down to the ice. Playing the be, basketball game. Can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> Pass on the left side from Carter, and a shot and a save, and Carter looking for the rebound. So is Pearson, so is Toffoli. Nolan gets on the ice here, Bob. I'm not sure. He's picked up a shift in the game so far tonight. And looking back to the first period, he did not play at all. Maybe Save. the first shift at all for Jordan Nolan out there. Bada moves it right side. Canucks trying to get on the board. They're down 4 0. Back to the blue line it goes. Shot by Verbata and a save by Quick. He saw that all the way. Nobody in front of him. Muzzin behind the net. Gives it over to Williams. Up ahead to center. Nice move by Carter. Putting it all alone. And he shoots. As the Canucks got back, he didn't get quite the angle he wanted on that. Pass to Muzzin. Muzzin tried to throw it in front. It deflects off to the left side, and it is not cleared out. What a nice play by King. Now to Richards. Now in front, and Brown got stopped there. It went behind Kyle Clifford. You're talking about scouting. Jack Ferreira is assistant to King's general manager, Dean Lombardi. He's been a general manager. He's been a scout. Puck comes left side. A shot from there, and a glove save by Quick. He said he went to a game one night. It was just a terrible game. There was nobody to look at. Down the middle, here is Carter. Shooting score! Jeff Carter right down the middle. And the Kings lead 5 to nothing. Well, it's that breakout. The breakout's there. I mean, the Kings are just moving. And it's just right there. Then you have the speed. Then you have the finish. I, I don't know if I can say much more than that. Of course, the diagramming and everyone playing the right position. With a check there on Sean Mathias. And the Kings get it up ahead to center to Brown. Here's Brown into the zone. Drops it back. Taken by Richards. He shoots and a save by Delac. Option on the play. The pass was right on the stick. Picked up by Pearson in the Vancouver zone. He gives it to Foley up the middle to Carter and his shot and a save. Rebound, shot knocked down in front, loose puck for a moment, but... And Sutter has been talking about that. He's getting a better feel for the game. Here's Carter, pass in front and a save by Eddie Lack. As the Kings moved it around to the right side and to Foley had a chance for another goal. Hanson off on the right side, thrown down in deep and it is Taken away, tipped away from Bonino, and the Kings get it up to center, pass ahead. Here in the middle, shot by Williams and knocked away. Nice pass there by Kopitar. Over the shoulder pass, over, over the shoulder reception by Williams. Shot from the right side and a save by, tipped away. They've got Daniel Sedin on the ice. Here's his brother Henrik, puts it to Daniel behind the net. Back to Henrik. Henrik Sedin to the blue line. Now back over to Henrik. Henrik shoots, tipped in front, rebound. Daniel trying to jam it in, couldn't do it. Played there by Nick Bonino, formerly with the Ducks. Here's Lyndon Bay, his shot deflected in front and they score. It deflected right up the middle and it came to Higgins and that breaks the shutout. 7.53 to go in the third and it's now Kings five and 
Vancouver one. And I'm going to give Higgins a whole bunch of credit for the release point and how quickly he gets it on, but you'll see it right here on the attack. Ends up being a broken play. It goes, instead of for the goal, it goes right to the front. And you can't really expect that. You can't anticipate it. The stick of Muzzin gets on the puck, and instead, again, instead of the shot going on net, it goes right to Higgins. Picked up by Pearson again. Pearson down the left side. He gets checked there along the boards. And the loose puck taken by Carter. Off of the right side. Shot saved by Lapp. Rebound up the middle. Pearson has a turn. Shoots. Saved by Lapp again. And he keeps the puck alive and clears it out to 18,230 to 129th consecutive sellout by the Kings. Here across the line on the right side, a shot by Lyndon Bay, a former member of the King organization. Eight seconds to go, and this was an impressive performance by the Kings tonight against a very, very good Vancouver team. And this game is over.